Oh, got a bit of a mess going on here, but I got all the blocking in here. I got all the electrical done except for the one plug over here. I've got this corner pretty much sussed. Um, but the one problem I've run into is uh, I got to drill into the concrete here to mount these boards here because I mean it, the, I need a couple of concrete anchors in there I think and unfortunately this is one of the SDS 4.3 millimeter long ones well it's supposed to be about another inch and a half longer than that I've broken three of these in the last 10 minutes just I don't know, the concrete's not that hard, I just think I was hitting rebar or something. So, unlucky. I had three, I broke three. So, uh, it's lunchtime, so I'm going to go grab some lunch near the hardware store. Thanks for following along. So, it took a long time to block all this in. Doing this kind of spindly framing here, like in the corner here, of course you need something to nail your sheet goods to there and in there so everything had to be blocked got the electrical in here and the water in here for the washing machine I got the switch for the fan the fan up there I figure it's better closer to the ceiling before it was like here I think up there is a better spot for it I had to tear all this stuff out of here and rebuild all this still got to build the platform here uh, all the blocking done here too. I had to put extra blocking in here because I got to put another layer to get rid of this ugly mess. I have to put another layer of drywall or something there. This is all blocked in. This is going to go like this and then this will go like this will go like this and then this will go like this. But yeah, I am ready for panels. And it's uh, getting near 5 o'clock on Friday. I was supposed to leave today, but I made a mistake in my booking. And uh, actually, I have the hotel booked for tonight as well. So I'm actually going to stay. I stayed a whole day today, and I'm going to uh, leave tomorrow, Saturday. But I'm going to put in half a day here because I'd really like to get this paneling up. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing here. The drain pan fits with space to spare on either side for the drywall and I mean it just fits but it fits so I'm happy with that uh, I'm not exactly sure I gotta figure that plumbing thing out but I really want to get some panels up just so I mean I just want to put some panels up of course all of them I gotta cut since I put these plugs in now now of course I have to cut all of the uh, plug hole or outlets out these are a little high and my thinking is this is going to be storage talking to the client the washing machine will go there and then we're going to put some of those wooden ikea shelves here we figure is probably the most uh cost performance kind of thing to do and uh most likely anybody would have boxes and stuff sitting on the floor so if i had them at the usual like foot or or so off the floor the boxes would for sure block them now, where they are now, I'm hoping that like the first shelf that you would put would go below it and then this would be there. So if you do want to plug something in, you don't got to get on your hands and knees and stick, you know, under the floor. That, that's a height that you could fairly easily get to, is my thinking. I know it's not usual, but uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming along nicely. I'm pleased with the work. I think it's all good and straight and level and true. Um, but it's just taking longer. It always does. I mean, this corner here, that took half a bloody day, all the blocking and cutting. And, you know, I brought all my boards in here and cut everything with my, with my uh, skill saw, my circular saw. But it just, it just takes time. It, it's just, you know, the way it is. So... Yeah, it's been a heck of a week. Uh, when you consider I came in here and it was all bare concrete. Now I got most of a room built. I don't know, I don't think that's bad for one guy for a week. When I mean, you consider it wasn't even really a week because Monday I had to drive down here and go get supplies and all the rest of that. At least it hasn't snowed again. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna try to get some panels up. Ta-da! Now it feels like a room again. That's the calcium board up. I got one little spot up there to do, but it's getting late and I'm calling it for the day. And uh, in there, I'm not gonna put the calcium board because I'm really, really stuck for space here to get the washing machine in. So just the drywall will be fine there. That was never, that area was never wet and it's got the sealant on the foundation, so it's fine. Still thinking about the floor, but uh, yeah, the first layer of calcium boards in. It looks like a room again. There was much rejoicing. Well, that was a good day's work. I got half a day tomorrow, and then I'm gonna be back again week after next, I think, to finish everything up. Fortunately, I couldn't get it all done this trip. Some things just take time. Well, that's another uh, week's work. Um, I'm quite pleased with how things turned out. The foundation sealer seems to really, really have worked. And of course, redirecting the downspouts, you know, eliminates the water problem to start with. I mean, this room in here now, it's not, there's no humidity at all. I mean, aside from what's just in the air outside. I'm very pleased with how it's all shaping up. It's taking longer than I thought it would, but you know, I am one guy and uh, I'm working at kind of at my arm's length because I'm working three and a half hours from home. So, you know, luckily I found a good hardware store and that kind of thing, which makes the difference. Um, when I first came down here, the only hardware store I found was not very good. And, you know, there's just certain things like, oh, I forgot, I forgot my level. So I ended up buying a, a three foot level, even though I have a three foot level, but you know, stupid things like that. I just, I just forgot it. it just wasn't on my list of things to take with. I don't know why, but uh, anyways, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is turning out pretty good. Um, my kind of ideas and vision of what's gonna happen, like with this here, I got a layer of drywall to go on yet, and then the other board, that kind of finished uh, wallpapery kind of board, is that a word, is gonna go right over top of everything. But this, this joint will not longer exist and will cover up this falling off plaster. The ceiling, I'm still not exactly sure, oops, sorry about that, not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with the ceiling over here. Where is it? There. Um, I've been thinking that maybe what I should do is because that that stuff is just it's not gonna stick I mean anything I I could stick something to it but I'm afraid that ceiling's gonna fall off so what I thought I could do is get some even some thin piece of plywood and just put like uh, you know like sleepers what do you call them sleepers on the ceiling purlins no I don't think that's the word can't remember but like thin strips across the ceiling and then just put another board product on um, you know just to, to cover it up because I mean it looks horrible and I'd be able to get rid of this like uh, up here there's this ugly wiring that's hanging out from when somebody else did this that could then go underneath that little sleeper well it wouldn't here too maybe I don't know we're gonna see so that's an idea that's a little bit more work but we would sure look nicer at the end and like I say I don't I, this stuff I'm afraid everywhere I touch it it just it just falls I mean it, it's just just you know it's it's crumbling so if I put the purlins, whatever you call them, across the top there, and because it's concrete up there, and I and I anchor, you know, put tech or whatever you call them, the concrete screws into the uh, into the concrete, hold them in place. Then if that stuff falls down above, it doesn't matter. It'll just be held there. You know, it won't. It won't. Nobody will care. Nobody will see it, and have a good ceiling there. So um, I might go that route. That might work. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, make it up as you go along. It's what you do with renovations. Every time you open a wall, you never know what you're gonna find. So, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed these. I got a half a day tomorrow and then a drive back to Tokyo. Uh, everybody, please take care, be safe, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.